actually we the earth, the uses of worms uh, are various the one one use of earthworms is for them to produce vermi liquid which is used as a as a plant foliar by farmers the the vermi liquid is uh, is very, is very strong and one has actually to mix it with the water at a ratio of 1 to 10 when you are doing when you want to use it for foliar the other product is uh, the vermi compost which is left inside the con the bed after the worms have eaten eaten all the all, all, all the compost now the third use for worms is that you can feed these worms to chicken, you can feed them to fish, so that, uh, because the worms are pure protein, and feeding them to this uh, livestock actually adds a lot of weight to them. There are so many dangers because um, there are birds which can come and eat them. There are... Um, there are also safari ants, which if they get inside here, they will eat those worms. Um, those are the two main uh, predators for the worms. And we usually prevent them by putting a lot of dry cover on top, so that birds cannot get inside. For the safari ants, these ones are very dangerous if they come inside, so we usually put some oil, or, or aging oil, old aging oils are around the beds and you, you can see that some places, is, uh, the, some places are b uh, black because of we, that we usually apply that uh, used oil there to prevent the safari ants getting inside. Uh, for the compost from the red worms, you cannot have, they cannot uh, be destructive to your crops. but. We always uh, do things in moderation. You should put enough for what you want to to grow. If you are using um, vermi liquid, we usually dilute it at a rate of 1 to 10. That is one part uh, vermi liquid and 10 parts water. Then we can water the plants that way. When you come to compost, we usually put just enough for one plant. Earthworms take about three months to compost anything uh, so that you can see results and also for them to mu multiply. So if you buy earthworms now, you, you, you have to wait about three, the three months for you to see the results of either vermi liquid or the vermi compost or you can harvest them for your, uh, your birds, uh, your chicken or your fish. Mm -hmm. Now this depends on uh, purely on the customer. There are people who are interested in buying worms as a hobby so that they can grow maybe a few plants outside their home. Maybe they also want to use the compost for their flowers. There you can buy one kg of red worms. But if you are doing a small kitchen garden, it is good to buy enough earthworms so that they can make enough compost. Uh, we usually recommend you start with 5 kg of earthworms and this will provide you with a small amount of uh, vermi liquid and also the vermi compost. If you have a big kitchen garden, bigger kitchen garden, you can buy 10 or 15 kg of earthworms where you can also get enough compost and enough liquid. Now for the large farmer, you need to buy something like uh, from 50 to 100 kg of earthworms, which we also sell and you can start commercial vermicomposting. Mm -hmm. yeah. We do training to all farmers because information is power. And if you want to do anything, the, the first thing you do is to gather information. And we provide farmers with uh, training here. Uh, we have a lot of farmers coming, especially on Fridays and Saturday. They come and learn. Uh, then they go home with the earthworms and go and start uh, the organic farming. Now, here you can see these are half drum, half plastic drums. These drums are normally used for water and when you buy a full drum, you cut the drum into two so that you can either use two of them in one system. Here you can see there's one on top and another one down there. Now, this 
drum is divided into two compartments. There is a reason why we have divided this into two. The reason is that you can start vermicomposting on one side and feed all the worm, be feeding worms here on one side, which means that after some time, the worms you have completed eating all the compost or organic matter on that side and the, the, this compartment will be full. It takes about uh, two to three months so that the worms have eaten all the waste and it is full. Now, you start with one compartment. When this one is full, you, you, you put compost in the next compartment, which means that the worms now will move from where there is no food to where there is food. The worms will leave this compartment, move to the second compartment, and start now the process again. You'll be feeding now in this compartment. What is on that first compartment is actually the compost, which you can remove and uh, go and use it for your gardening or your or planting your vegetables. That's why we have two compartments. One is empty because we are waiting for the composting on one side. Once the composting is completed, we will put the waste or the organic matter on the on the empty one and the worms will, will migrate from where they have already made compost to the new one where they, they are going now to make new compost. <laughs>